drop in the ocean, a change in the weather. I was praying that you and me might end up together. It's like a wish. Hey guys, so I'm here to do a quick review video on a certain product that I just purchased last week. And I'm so sorry that I have not been able to get a video up sooner. I have been extra busy with work and school. But I'm here now doing this quick review video for you guys. So as you guys know, I had been using the Maybelline Fit Me Liquid Foundation in the shade 125. So I had been using this one. But I started noticing now that for the past week or so here in LA has been pretty hot in the high 80s. So... I've been out and about in the sun and I have been noticing that halfway through my day my skin started to feel oily and um, I just was not liking that so I went ahead and I purchased the Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation Shine Free and it looked like this and this is in the ivory shade 115 and I have to tell you guys that I have been loving it. It really is shine free. It leaves you a matte finish throughout the entire day. I have a week, exactly a week using it and I love it already. Definitely going to continue purchasing this. So I think in these hot sunny days I will be sticking to this foundation. And then when it gets a little bit more cooler and more fresh I will continue using the Femi foundation. Because the only flaw is that the oily part which is I think it's kind of like not too big of a flaw but it is a flaw because I need to be touching up on my makeup but I really do like the coverage it really does a great job so I definitely don't want to stop using it so I think this is more on the more fall wintry kind of days when it's not too hot and sunny and then this will continue for these hot days because here in LA it's still hot like it's still summer so I will continue using this and then also when I purchased this I went ahead and got the Fit Me Powder, Fit Me Foundation Powder by Maybelline. And this is in the medium buff shade 225. And this is what it what it looks like. So I've really been loving the way these two work together because the stay really does continue to be matte, even you know, blending both of these in together. So I have not tried these two together, so I I have yet to see how these two go uh, together. But um, I'll be sure to go ahead and let you guys know when I do wear this and then put this on top. And then another product that I actually just purchased yesterday. As you guys do know, my favorite mascara is the Falsies by Maybelline. I have been using this mascara for, I would say, over a year already. And it is still my favorite mascara. I really, really do love it. So again, if you have not tried the Falsies mascara, I'd suggest you go and buy this. Because honestly, it lives up to its name. But I had, I had been wanting to try this mascara, the Mega Plush, and it's taken me quite a while to, you know what, I'm going to just try it out and see how it works. Because this, I've been really loyal to this mascara. But yesterday, I was like, I was running out, so I had to go purchase a new one. And I went ahead and just grabbed this one as well. And I tried it on today, I'm actually wearing it right now. And I must say, I really, really do like it. It really does give you volume, gives you length. So I got this waterproof and very in the shade very black, color very black. And I like it. I like it. I think I'm going to be doing these two combinations together. So maybe like switch it off here and then wear this some days, wear this some, some, some other days. So I really do, I really do like this. And another thing, I know it's kind of silly, but... I really like the, um, uh, I don't know what is it, like where it's, the cover I guess you can say. I, really, I don't know why, it just, it seems so girly to me. I just, I really like it. It's like purple and like pistachio or like a teal. I really do like it. So, first day using it and I must say I'm already liking it. So I'm already giving it two thumbs up on this. So I would keep on purchasing this and I will continue purchasing this one obviously because I'm just loyal to this mascara. I just, I love it. So definitely if you have not tried this one, go out and buy it because it really does live up to its name. But there, definitely this one does give you mega plush volume. Yes, I do agree. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick review on these products that I just recently purchased and I've been really loving.
So if you have not yet tried them, go ahead, purchase them. I promise you that you will be satisfied. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet to my videos, don't forget to subscribe, like my video, and spread the word to all your friends. Subscribe to my channel, and I will try to get you guys another video in soon because I know I have not been filming as often as I said I would. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!